It's the 2015 Lakeside World Championships and we now continue with the ladies competition here at the home of World Darts, the Lakeside! We now introduce the winner of over 80 world ranking titles, the reigning BDO Gold Cup singles champion, five times the Winmore World Master, nine times the Lakeside World Champion, it's the Golden Girl, Trina Gallivan! We now introduce, making her lakeside debut, the Luxembourg Open finalist from the Netherlands, Annika Koten. Thank you, Colin. The familiar face of Trina Gulliver, who's appeared on the Lakeside stage every year since the inception of the Ladies' Championship in 2001. This her 15th year here, during which she's lost only five matches and been beaten by only three other competitors. Well, Trina hasn't won a ranking tournament this last year. Her opponent has never won one. Annika Gauten from the outskirts of Eindhoven at Lakeside for the first time, either as a competitor or a fan. She has admitted to a few nerves prior to her debut. And that lack of experience could be telling as Annika plays her first match on this stage. Trina embarks on a 38. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. More than first any set, other lady in history. Set. Trina to throw first. Game on. And it rolls the referee. And Trina with the darts in this first leg. As always, looking very determined. 20 seconds. Trina. Here we are. Annika, left handed. 40. He's always getting the best of order. 47. Annika qualified in the 14th and final standby place 43. of the world rankings. And that was because Anastasia de Bromislova won the World Masters and she'd already qualified. And that meant that, that Annika could take her place here at Lakeside. I think the nerves could tell here, Jim. 43. Left under. Oh, it's all right. 100. That'll help. But Trina's not doing that well. 26, 47, 43. 64. It's broken just about every record going, Trina Gulliver. 
with an extraordinary career. And this is the first time that she set foot on the lakeside stage on the back of two successive defeats here. She was 85. beaten in the opening round last year for the first time ever uh, by another Dutch lady, Tamara Schur. Previous year, 2013, having beaten Julie Gore in the first round, she lost 2-1 to Anastasia. But she has been awarded the MVE for her services to the sport. Something she'll never, ever forget. 25. Nice crowd in the best of order. Second dart not doing her any favours there at all. Only a single five as a result with her third. Well, Fifteen darts thrown on the shots there. One trouble. Twenty-nine. Those nerves just possibly affecting both players in the early stages of this match. That'll do for Trina. Ninety-five. It's the treble. He's had 54 180s here at the Lakeside in her career. Annika just struggling with that 45. first start at the moment, which has been pulled to the left hand 22. side at the moment. Trina on a finish here. Yeah, treble 20. For 18, leaves 104. So. Ninety went for the Shanghai. Okay, you require one hundred and thirty-one. Needed the trouble with the first dart. Fifty-one. Double sixteen Three, then for Trina Gulliver to take this first leg. Double eight now. Game shot and the first leg. Trina Gulliver. Early settler Second for the nine-time champion. First. Game on. They should be used to it now. The throw. Let's see the fluency. 70. In Anarchus. Left hand. 36. She's got the rhythm. 36. Again, that first dart going. Waywardly off to the left hand side. 22. She did say before the match that she was suffering from nerves a little bit and that uh, she hoped that wouldn't be a factor. It is her first ever visit to the lakeside, Annika Cowton. And she said that the having been told that the venue was actually smaller than 85. you expect and smaller than it looks on the television, she got here, she thought it was massive. And as a result of that, she was uh, a little bit overawed as she. And prepared to set 40. foot on the stage for the presentation of all of the afternoon sessions, eight players, which always happens about half an hour or so before the first start is thrown in anger. 87. Perhaps the early visits to the hockey have betrayed those nerves for the, the Dutch lady at the moment. You can get overawed though, Jim Kyan, really, when you do walk in. 45. I found it great, especially the final. Oh, the bus. Just everything's there. 123. Not quite her first maximum of the match. Just lost a flight in the process. But she's on a finish. 39. Trini, you require 170. Pick a stout shot. Needed the trouble. So 18 on the ball. 134. That's what Trina Gulliver can do. She's left double 18. 16. Trina, you require 36. With her opponent a long Game way back. short on the second leg. Trina Gulliver. And she had a nervy start in the opening leg of this match, but Third she leg. is now Trina finding that fluent first. rhythm which has Game on. brought her so much success in the past. Excellent leg. 100. 
Now with the darts to take this first set. Good start. Twenty nine. Thirty six. Tony, what would cause this? This problem that Annika has got is it tightness in the arm, which is forcing that first one out to the left hand side, invariably. I think nerves more than anything. 30 surprising, you know, when you say I, I've been up there when I've been playing for the county, and sometimes you, you go on first thing and you get the real buzz and go straight into it, but sometimes you think your first three down 43. I'm not getting these. So it does happen. 45. She's a daughter. She hasn't given me her name. 41. 36, 43, 41. He's still in the lead by 100. 38. So, just not going and in fact when your opponent's not playing that well it, it can put you off as well yeah. 45 58 he's trying everything just not happening 78. Three trebles. Only the one that she wanted. 59. Trina, you require 158. 58. Needed the treble with her first start for the finish. But she can get within touching distance of winning this first set now. 78 left. 134. Excellent third dart as well. Double 12 when Trina Culliver comes back. And all Annika Kalton can do is just try and put a little bit of pressure on that double 12. 45. She hasn't really been able Trina to do. Trina required 24. 6. Yes. Game shot. And the first set. Trina Gulliver. Comfortable. Second Trina set, Gulliver. first leg. It's Annika to throw first. Game on. Is this the first maximum? 120. Just a bounce out, denying it. Thirteen. And there we are, there's a party, Daniele there, one year old, from Bob, Bob Potter's granddaughter. 45. And mum, mum, Tina. <laughs> 12th birthday today, congratulations. And enjoy the darts. 86. 12th birthday today. 36. Double six from Trina to acknowledge that as she won the first set. She didn't win a first set no, last year, didn't win a set at all in that match against Tamara Shure. I think that just getting that first set on the board will done her the world of good. Winner 98. of this one plays the defending champion Lisa Ashton, who is again one of the unseeded players here this year. Trina herself, as you can see, only seeded eighth. Uh, BDO ranking 16 is nine at the moment. And six places uh, above her opponent in this game. And Trina won the England National Championships in July 2013. Just misses the 180 there. And she hasn't won any of her last 28 ranking tournaments since that, although she 
has reached six finals in that time. 40. Training you require 147. Okay, on the choices. Never seen a throw like this before. Definitely. 23. Run off the boil. And Annika's not helping the cause. <coughs> the doubles are coming our way, but it's taken a long Trini time to get there. 124. There's another finish. Trouble 20. Still a chance. Trouble 18 leaves the ball. 27. This went for the trouble 20 there, which would have left her tops. So Annika looking at 156, but needed the treble, obviously, with that first dart. 36. And Trina back for Trina 97. 97. Her leg against the darts. First leg of this second set. 47. Double top. And 97 Game check out with two darts from Trina Gulliver. Trina Gulliver. Whose finishing has been exceptional so far. Second leg, it's Trina to throw first. Game on. Yeah, as the saying is, one eight is for sure. Double Swidor. 59. Four out of six. Four out of the last five have hit the doubles. And that's blocked that bed, so it'll be down below. 82. And good recovery. Big Dutch contingent here, as always, at the lakeside. It's been a, a real mixed bag of results so far, though. All three 59. Dutchmen knocked out last night. And there's uh, Annika's partner, Mark, cheering her on. Not looking very happy, is he? 55. But this time, you never know. <laughs> Twenty nine. Been better in the trouble twenty. Sixty-three. Eighty-one. Yeah, good last start. Thirty-six. How many is there? Six. Where's the brothers? Well, for so often in uh, Trina Gulliver's career here, all the uh, ladies up against 31. her. They were the bridesmaids and never the bride. Five brides in here. It was seven at the start of the week. This is looking a little bit ominous. <laughs> Two down, five to go. 41. 89. Trini you require 148. 15 darts without a, tr a trouble. 20. Annika, you require 134. Well, Trina on 48. 16, 16. Trina, you require 48. Single 16 first. Double 16. 16. Two rare missed darts of the Anarchy double for Trina. 
And Annika now with a chance at 90 to get her first leg on the board. Another one of those would leave Bull. Bullseye for a 90 checkout. Oh, 65. Lucky. lucky that Jim on it. Training you require 32. Still with 16. Double eight now. Now double four. Just chasing it around the board a bit. 24. Annika, you require 25. Shim's here. Single nine. Oh dear. It's one now. Double two. No score. Oh, back to 25, but double Three, you four. require eight. Katrina Gulliver. Good marker. Down to the twos. Four. But you're only getting the blues. Annika, you require 25. Another chance then for Annika Cowton. Hits the big one this time. Double 12. Double six. Is this her moment? 13. Pulled it to the right by a good Trina inch or so, and Trina four. back for double two, having missed eight darts to win this leg already. Game shot, and the second leg, Trina Gulliver. Gets it at the ninth time of asking, and she's Third one leg, leg away now. Throw first. Game on. So with the advantage, of the throw, needing to take this. 20 to stay in the match is Annika Kooten. One hundred and twenty-five. Twenty-five. We've seen some classics with the ladies through the years. And the pair really pushed it out. But unfortunately, on this occasion, 81. I think the nerves have got to both of them. Scott Mitchell here in the auditorium. Cheering on Trina Gulliver. Two very close 18. friends. Scotty already through, of course, after that thriller against Tony O'Shea. Great match. 140. Better scoring from Trina in this legger. Uh, ton 25, now a ton 40 as well. And that's strong. 36. Trina, you require 155. She'll be back and still have quite a few darts. You would imagine 45. with Annika back at 394 at the moment. 284 points adrift. Yeah, you've got a feel for Annika. First time here. Lots of content with. Trini, you require 110. Single 20. Single 10. Double top. 17. I think she will just be a little bit aggrieved that she hasn't done herself justice. She's a much better player 16. than she's been able to show today. She's Trina, ranked 15 in the world, reached a couple of finals this year, but might have thrown her last darts in this one. Tops for the match for Trina Gulliver. Now double 10. 20. It's surprising though, Jim, you can try too hard and it really takes you off your game altogether. But in the latter stages, Trina's come to the fore. One really hundred. Pushed ahead. Trina, you require 20. Leaves number double 10 for the match. And Game. that's the one she needed. Shot. And the match, Trina Gulliver. So Trina Gulliver off to a winning start in 2015. And a victory over the Dutch driving instructor, Annika Kouten has set up an intriguing second round tie against defending champion Lisa Ashton. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as she leaves the stage from the Netherlands, Annika Koten. And through to the quarterfinals, England.
Ireland's golden girl, Trina Gallivan.